Hey, good morning everyone. Greeting from San Esteban here in Chile. I'm really excited now going to Argentina, to be honest. I want to ride the Paso Internacional Los Libertadores. That's a real commercial link between Chile and Argentina. It's the main transport route and uh, the, obviously there's a lot of traffic going on so it's the Chilean side from Santiago de Chile into the Mendoza province in Argentina so this will be a bit of a challenge, the best of times. The pass is 3,200 meters high and since I'm here in the winter it will be very cold. I'm absolutely no doubt it will be freezing up there and the catch is the border is right on the top so if you arrive too late and then you have to go down in the other side you're snookered when it's getting dark early so that's not pretty good as you can see the fun already begins here and let's be fair the lorry driver just doing their own thing they just pull out in front of you but the landscape is absolutely stunning and I'm enjoying the ride until here we go total gridlock on a pass I have no chance than just pulling past because you never know how long it will take for the lorries to move on be fair I had some tips from the locals they just stopped and said keep on driving because otherwise you hang around forever on a motorbike on a pass like this it's not a good thing to do so I just keep moving until someone tells me otherwise the surface of the road oh my god I tell you only man is something special you thinking you're driving on ice but it's not it is just like real polished tarmac and there's lots of rubber from decades of lorry traffic on it but it's better than other places where you suddenly have a lot of oil so I'm just moving on making my way up and at times there's no traffic at all and you're making good headway and I'm really enjoying the view I would spend more time, I got a drone with me so I could fly the drone and everything, take time for photos and enjoy it even more, but I'm working against the clock here, because I don't want to get stuck overnight on a pass. I mean, check this out, what is not to like up here, beautiful, what a landscape. I'm taking it all in because I never know when I see a place like this again. I'm used to riding the European Alps, but this is something different. I mean, yeah, I'll just look at the space around. Here, approaching the border station on the Chilean side but to my surprise there's not much going on everything is closed so I really don't know what to do at this moment in time because here's the thing if I keep driving and I'm arriving on the Argentinian side then I could end up in real trouble if I'm not stamped out and have the right import documents for my motorbike so that's a bit of a thing. I have no idea what to do, but at this moment in time, I think the only thing I can really do is keep on riding and hoping for the best. So if I come out of the end of this tunnel, I sh will be in Argentina. That is it. I'm there. Fantastic. Still no border, not just keep on driving, enjoying this vast landscape. It is in, it is just incredible. 
and I don't really know how to describe it. It's just like I'm blown away. Just look at the red dirt. Everything has this magenta hue here. It is, it is something else. I can't believe I'm here, to be honest. I really can't believe I'm here. Look at this. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen something like that before yourself? That's definitely something different to our Alps. In fact, this part of the mountain range is already part of the Andes. Vast spaces. I'm cold. I'm really cold. I'm still not any wiser. I have no idea how far I have to go until I get to a new border. Ah, here it is. This is the border, I think. Slowly does it. Yes. So you could actually just go on straight away without uh, checking in on the border agency, but I think it's not a good idea because somewhere down the line it will bite you in a dead ear. So let's see what will happen, because quite frankly, me and my Spanish and borders, not that much fun. See you in the next video, people.